Do we have any information, Ted, about what efforts might be going on? There was one hint at one point where the Secretary of Commerce, Wilbur Ross, said that he and Robert Lighthizer had written a letter to say we'd like to get that balance of trade deficit down $100 billion. Do we have any sense of whether the Chinese have responded to that, whether there are negotiations going on? Oh, I think very clearly there are negotiations going on. Within, you know, a couple of days of the original tariff announcement from the president, we heard from the Chinese that, that there were talks with the U.S. Secretary Mnuchin's been involved. Clearly, Ambassador Lighthizer has been involved. There will be higher level contacts as well. I mean, the Chinese are sort of sending two signals. On the one hand, they're saying, look, we're prepared to negotiate. We recognize some of the U.S. concerns may be legitimate. On the other hand, they're saying, look, if you hit us, we're going to hit back in kind. We're not going to be patient. We're not going to wait, say, the way the Japanese have, have done, or we're not going to take it to the U.S. courts the way the Swiss have done. We're going to hit back in kind. So I think the Chinese are sending a, a double message here, and, and we still don't know exactly how that's going to play out over the next couple of months here. Ted, has President Trump in one way succeeded in what he wanted to accomplish, and that is to make this all bilateral rather than multilateral? We would have thought that the WTO is there to resolve just this sort of trade dispute. You mentioned South Korea. That seems to have been entirely bilateral. Are we really breaking down the multilateral approach to trade that's been taken, frankly, since World War II? Well, certainly we're breaking down the approach that's been taken since the creation of the WTO in 1995. This is all being done outside the rules, outside the auspices of the WTO. It's not dissimilar to what happened between the Reagan administration and Japan in the 1980s, but, but this is clearly Trump's playbook. He wants to threaten action, use that as a lever to force deals that he believes the United States could not get otherwise, kind of hold that hammer over U.S. trading partners and see what he can get. So there's no question this is a Trump trade policy. Whatever one thinks of it, it's the way he's talked about trade for several decades now, and it's playing out exactly the way he wants it to play out.